techno time. We're about to go grocery shopping. And <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys on a... On a tour of Trader Joe's? No, on a, <laughs> on a grocery haul and then meal prep for the week. This week we are getting back on track. We're going to actually meal prep <laughs> and stick to it. We'll see how it goes. Wow. <laughs> back on track? You never were on track. Christopher! <gasps> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> We're going to the notable Trader Joe's. I have made a list and I have. What are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Vlogging <laughs> 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 gives them the giggles. So I <laughs> made my grocery. You are like cutting in front of traffic right now. Um, it's a turn. Yeah, but there are two. There are two lanes that were turning, and you just basically cut across the farthest one. Anyways, we're going to Trader Joe's. I made a list. I'll show you guys the list. It was based off of, it, it was, it is based off of the Beach Bodies Ultimate Reset for phase one that they list on their blog. I have eaten all the meals before. They're super yummy, super healthy, and they're pretty much plant-based during phase one. I might add in a few meats throughout the week, depending on what this guy eats. So that's what we're gonna do. Baby carrots, full carrots. Oh god, just okay. I'm not made for this. We have bruised lemons. <laughs> bruised lemons. Some perfect bars that we're about to snack on. Avocado. This is actually some really good uh, yogurt alternatives that I've gotten the past few times. Some dates for our shakes. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, some kale, some rice and lentils, almond milk, and we have some of our meats. So, time to put it up. Okay, so again, all the recipes that I'm using for my meal prep for the week are on beachbodyondemand.com and it's under how to prep for the ultimate reset and I'm doing the phase one. It literally has everything from a grocery list to step by step of how to meal prep. Um, I'm preheating the oven now and I'm going to start the sweet potatoes and start cooking the rice and the lentils.
you follow the actual kind of timeline of events, this is not according to plan, but I already have the mason jars out and so I'm going to go ahead and put in the overnight oats. I personally don't like overnight oats, I guess, the way that they're supposed to be eaten. <laughs> um, I prefer for them not to be soaked um, and soggy, if you will, and so I pretty much eat it to where the oats are kind of dry, <laughs> if you will, but do it to your own preference. Add almond milk if you want to add almond milk. Um, the way the recipe calls for it, it doesn't technically have almond milk or another type of liquid added into the jars other than yogurt. Focus, Trader Joe's coconut vanilla bean yogurt time substitute.
for the night, I'm going to put up the lentils and the rice and I'll finish putting all that stuff together tomorrow. My breakfast and lunch for tomorrow are complete. It will be the overnight oats as well as the microgreen salad. Just finished making the dressing and then we'll wrap up by making the lunches for the alternative days as well as dinner. coconut oil just melt in the pan I literally have the setting on low I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the rest of the veggies and then add them all in and it's honestly super simple and definitely something that you can add to any dinner not just this meal prep I think I'll Thank you. 